Okay, this is my unboxing of this eye view. I view Vista right here. They have, and this is the um, the higher end. Also, they have a a lower end for a few bucks less. And I've got a couple links on the computer screen. The screen is turned off right at the second, but it's up. It's on the screen. I just got to turn the screen on and show what's there. Let's see what is in here. Okay, so there's there's that. Instructions. Um, I've already had a couple pair of these, so the instructions ought to be fairly easy for me to read uh, since I've had these before. I don't know what these stickers are. We'll look into that later. A spare uh, a pair of of clear lenses. And uh, let's make sure because on my when I got those um, that other new pair. They sent me two of the same side side lenses, which um, can't. Okay, these are two different. These are a left and a right, so that works. The spare lenses they sent me, they were both either left or right. I forgot which, so I just took the lenses out completely on on this one because I didn't want lenses. I wanted. I would have had clear lenses in there for eye protection, but I didn't want sunglasses. A lot of people want the sunglasses on there for motorcycle or for skiing or out bright sunny things outside or just to just so that it looks like they got glasses on instead of a camera so they can kind of hide the camera okay so that's what they look like so you can pop these sunglasses out and put the clear ones in which is what I'm more likely to do now I'm looking to find out how the one button operation is going to be on this and I see we got a one button right here I don't know how well it works so gotta press on it pretty hard to get it to click here it's vibrating so the thing just turned on so now I'm gonna turn it back off okay and let me see what else do we got here I don't know if I'm getting this on the camera or not I'm trying to so this would be the let's see looks like it opens up here there's your where you charge it at so where does the uh, micro SD does this have a micro SD I hope I got if it I gotta find out where that is maybe it's got it built in and I have to uh, download it into the computer through a cable I don't see a I don't see a port for a micro SD so I'm gonna have to do some reading up on this and and, uh, and do uh, find out more about it before I can go any farther on the video after reading these directions, I find that there is no micro SD card on this. It does have to be plugged into a computer of some sort and um, to get the video out of it. I, I think, I don't know if iPhone has a way you can plug this in or not. I use iPhones. I don't use Androids, but I don't know if I can get that on a phone. I'm sure it can probably work on a phone somehow. But uh, computer, okay, I use computers, and, um, and I'm going to uh, hold this steady and try to zoom in on it so, so that you can um, pause the video and read these directions. Uh, 
Um, here's where things are on it. My, um, the one on the left, is, I got two uh, windows up here. The one on the left is the cheaper version and they call that the uh, the wave it says so right here it only records in 1080 HD and it has 32 gigs of, of storage or claims sometimes uh, Amazon's information is not all that accurate and over here on the right is the one that that the company sent me it claims to hold 64 gigabytes and it claims to be able to uh, record up to 4k now of course you've got to get into your you got to plug this into the computer and change your settings on it you can't do it on the glasses themselves you have to do it on a computer and get the uh, the uh, program get the the thing the page up where you can uh, change your settings around on it and I can do that on my smartphone too, on my old glasses. I can bring it up on that. There's a, I just have to download the app and then I can open up the app and I can change my settings. So, and, and what you want is with the 4K, you're not going to get 60 uh, frames per second. I think you're only going to get 30 with 4K. With a 1080, I think you can get up to 60 frames per second. So, uh, naturally, if you're recording a ball game, a soccer game, or football, or something, and uh, and you want to be able to slow it down and get some close detail. You're going to want your your highest frames per second, regardless of what your uh, picture quality is, so that you can you know catch all those small details. So anyway, uh, and it shows all of that on here. Where was it? Oh, it's on this page here on the back side of this. It shows all of that so you can freeze the video and, and check this out and see what this this one can give you. I just plugged this thing in to a I didn't even open up the one they gave me yet. I already had a wire of that type plugged in. And I plugged it in to charge it, even though it's already charged up, and you see the little red light flashing, and I'm pointing the camera at my uh, computer screen. So I'm going to go on ahead and plug this into the computer and see if it's actually recording while it's charging. And, oh, and by the way, you do a snapshot. Here's the button over here. It's on the right-hand side. You do a snapshot. Uh, we'll do a snapshot of my ugly self here, I think. I'll try, try to turn it around here. Just a quick, short press. I don't know. I don't know. There, it might have got the top of my bald head there. We'll see. Just a quick, short press. You'll hear the click. Well, you may not hear it if you're outside and then it's noisy. But um, let's see what it does and if it's still recording. Okay, I got this thing to work. It's, I plugged it into the uh, computer. And um, first I plugged it into this little thing here that usually works. That's an, a USB and, and takes all different kinds of camera cards. And uh, but it wouldn't recognize it through that, so I plugged it directly into the computer on a USB, and then it recognized it. So let me bring that up, and um, all of these different uh, terabyte. I got what three different terabyte hard drives in here. Here's the only one it's going to have to be because this is only 59.4 gigabytes, and this thing claims to have 64 gigabytes. By the way, it looks like you can get this in either 32, 64, or 128. We're talking gigabytes. That's a lot of video. It's going to, you're going to, to recharge this thing a lot of times to fill that much up. But anyway, let's uh, go on and 
and do this and I probably should do a screen recording on this let me go on ahead and hit the screen recorder I'm gonna back up and do a screen recorder on this and um, let's see where's my recorder Go ahead and do a screen recorder, that way it'll be clear on the picture. Okay, let's go back to the snapshot, the photo part. Let's see what we get there. There. I thought it might get the top of my bald head. It almost did. Just barely got a little bit of that dome. So it does take pictures let's see if we can zoom in on this picture where do I do that at I don't oh here it is let's uh, see just how tight that picture is if we zoom in on something I think that's pretty tight I don't know what the uh, megapixels are on that but so there you have it there's a we'll do another review on it later but that's just a quick unboxing review and comparing it to the others and the only thing I don't really like about it is that the um, where did I put the thing oh it's over here what I the only thing I don't like is is that this little button is awful small on my original um, the one where is it this one it's not that one it's, it's this one this had a much bigger button over here it was easy to feel for that find it press it it pressed easy with one click and it clicks easy the button sticks out this thing is so small you've got to really uh, get a hold of it and, and you got to press on it pretty hard to make it click so I view if you're listening to this I would prefer to have a bigger more user-friendly button I don't think they're going to get pressed accidentally because it's a bigger button but maybe maybe someone's had trouble with that I don't know but anyway there we go that is my uh, my first review on this and when I get a chance to take this out and do video on um, on some of the work that I have to do that I do my uh, YouTube videos with We'll do another video on it. Alright, thanks for watching.